hair? What is it? What does it taste like? Can we even draw it? All these questions and more answered in this video on how to draw hair. How to art. Hello, doodle bugs. It's Mary, and this is one of, if not the most requested drawing topic that I've seen around. We're gonna talk about drawing hair today. So I'm gonna share with you some quick tips about drawing hair, regardless of the style you're using, whether you're doing realistic or cartoonish drawings, these are just some general concepts to keep in mind. References are essential. How can you draw something if you don't study it? So pictures or a real life model or a person who doesn't know you're staring at them help out immensely. When you're drawing something, it always helps to simplify things. I like to think of hair as one basic shape. It may be a shape with multiple parts to it, like bangs or a piece that sticks out, but ultimately it's one unit. Don't let yourself get distracted by the fact that it's thousands of little hairs and who could ever draw so many hairs? Oh my goodness, so many things to keep track of. If you have a reference picture in front of you right now, think of the silhouette of that hair. Go ahead and try sketching that out. Thinking of the hair as one unit, as one shape, will make it a lot easier down the line when you're adding shadow and light or extra little details. Find a cat. Are you near a cat? Get a cat. Pet that cat. How are you petting the cat? You're probably petting it with the hair. Now, try petting it against the hair. Do you feel that? Yes, that's, that's claws going into your skin. Keep that in mind next time you're drawing hair. Hair has a natural flow to it, starting from the roots and working its way down to the tips. Take note of the hair flow in your reference picture. It might be going up and down, up to the side. It may be actively styled, but that hair is growing in a direction. Lift and weight also affect the look of the hair. Like I said, the hair will grow up from the root and it tends to grow away from the scalp. And at some point, gravity is gonna pull that hair downward. And the lift from the scalp is something to consider when drawing hair. Light fluffy hair may go upward a little bit more, but if you draw the hair tighter and closer to the scalp, it'll either look wet or slicked back and green. It's like the border of land on the shore of your face. There's a variety of hairlines out there. Go people watching, it's amazing. Take note of where the hair begins uh, in relation to the ear and other landmarks on the face. Does it go far back? Is it a receding hairline? Does it come far down? Distinct hairlines are great indicators for characters if you're creating original cartoons. If you're making realistic drawings, using the hairline along with basic shapes in relationship to one another is a great foundation for creating a realistic piece. And finally, have fun with the variety of hair that you have to work with. There's so many different kinds of hair. It's textured, it's shaped differently. Keep your eyes open for references in real life, in the real world, as well as in photos, and keep practicing. Fill those sketchbook pages with many awful drawings of hair. What kind of hair do you like to draw? Or do you hate drawing hair? Do you avoid it at all costs? Do you draw long flowing stylized hair? Or do you avoid drawing short men's hair because the hairline seems too complex? Let me know in the comments below. What do you love about it? What do you hate? Thanks for watching Doodlebugs. I hope this was helpful to you. If you out there have any additional thoughts that you'd like to share with the class, you can comment in the comments below. Also topics for future tutorials, leave those ideas down there. I make these art videos every week, some educational, some just for fun, so you can subscribe to keep up with that. I'm on all the social medias at Mary Doodles, except for Snap, Mary Doodles on Snapchat. I just lied to you, um, but I post news and updates there as well as daily doodles on Instagram. Oh, and I have a whole how to art playlist. So if you're having trouble or want to learn more about stuff, uh, go check that out and maybe you'll learn something or maybe you'll go bankrupt. It's only one or the other. Choose. What do you do? I'm sorry. I doomed you. Thanks again for watching Doodlebugs. You didn't have to. You don't have to. Uh, I love you.